In the first few years at the Early College and Career Center was open, there was only one female student who completed the IT pathway. Brooke Whitlow is the Harding County Schools Instructional Technology Coordinator. And since we started these initiatives and the Girls Only Programming class and the Shattered Glass initiative, we have more than quadrupled the numbers of female enrollment in IT. According to the U.S. Department of Commerce, women fill fewer than 25% of the jobs involved in science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. While these career pathways are open to anyone, they are mostly filled by men. This class has definitely opened me up to a lot more opportunities, and I have learned a lot more about the STEM fields than I ever thought I would. I enjoy this class because I really enjoy the aspect of all girls because we are a minority in the IT field and I feel like we really bounce ideas off of each other and we're really great companions and we have very great friendships together. Through the IT program at EC3 I've gained a different way of learning because when you have this code and it's not working you have to think of different solutions and different problems to complete your task. Professor Hala Karimi of Sullivan University in Louisville, Kentucky, supervises a similar project, SheTech, created by a group of women who developed their own website, logo, and marketing materials to share their stories and break the gender stereotype. We create an opportunity for them to be a designer or a hardcore developer, whatever path they wanted to pursue after they're done with their education, and it only takes two years. Tina Furnish, a staffing and recruiting manager for DXC Technology in Fort Knox, explains how careers like these make the program pay off. The Girls That Code movement is, is so great because we don't have a lot of programmers that are women. We need to get them in there because of their critical thinking and how they approach things. So the IT industry is very big on certifications and they do that here at EC3. They're starting the certification path. So if you come in with a cert, you can make very 80 to 100,000. My goal is to get MTA certified in JavaScript and Python and I hope that it'll lead me to a STEM related job in the music industry. And what I saw, the passion and the interest that the girls had it was very encouraging to see those girls and having that self-confidence that they can pursue that path and be just as good as boys. I think for me, a glass shatterer is going to be a girl who is courageous and brave and she's not scared to take risks no matter that this is a male-dominated field. I think she works hard to take no prisoners and shatter the glass ceiling.